So our first question is from Faiza. She says, can I let my kids enjoy watching fireworks, which will happen on New Year? We don't celebrate such events, though. New Year is gone. So to answer this question is for the benefit of the Muslims, inshallah, for future times. What is the ruling on buying and using fireworks? The most authentic opinion is that this is prohibited due to the fact that it is a huge waste of wealth and money. Secondly, that there is harm to others who are frightened by the sounds. Thirdly, it is haram due to the harm it may cause. Every few weeks or months, we hear about the destruction of neighborhoods in China, in Bangladesh, in such countries due to an explosion in a firework warehouse or a factory, etc. Also in some events, this may take place that before the launch of such fireworks, an explosion or an accident could take place. And the benefits gained from it are not sufficient to justify such a haram thing. Now, this is when it comes to one plus one equals two. But usually we have to go beyond that and read between the lines. Now, if I live in a non-Muslim country that celebrates such events with fireworks, and unfortunately even some Muslim countries have done exactly what the Prophet warned us from, والسلام, the Prophet said in an authentic hadith, you shall follow the way of those before you inch by inch, even if they were to enter a desert lizard's hole, you will follow them. Even a hand span, even a foot, even an inch, no matter what they do, you're gonna mimic them. So the companion said, are you referring to the Jews and the Christians? And the Prophet said, who else? Yes, this is what I was referring to. So now, a lot of the Muslims have done that exactly. And they celebrate Christmas, the New Year, and they claim to be Muslims. And they spend millions of dollars on such celebrations. So the concept, when you read between the lines, it's not just watching fireworks and enjoying the scene it what entails, it's what is embedded. When our children, Muslim children, the grandsons of Khalid ibn al-Walid, the grandsons of great uh, uh, companions of the Prophet والسلام, lose their faith in their own religion and see how beautiful other religions are, they're celebrating, they're enjoying New Year or Christmas, they're partying, music, liquor, good time, wearing their best, they look beautiful. This causes an inferiority complex in the minds of the children, let alone the adults. There are adults who are brainwashed. I'm talking about the children when they grow up. They think that these are good celebrations. They have Santa Claus. We Muslims don't have anything like that. Why is that? We don't have anyone to bring us gifts like Sana. So this causes them to grow in a way that would make them a prodigy, a good fertile land to be conquered and to infest it with Western and Kafir ideologies and this is what we see 
today. So, in a short, uh, uh, in a nutshell, Pfizer, no. You should prevent your children from watching such fireworks, preserve their identity and their religion, and try your level best to give them something that substitutes them with rather than this uh, haram celebrations.